Well, 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 well. Well, I ran. Well, it looked like Trump is now labeled uh, Hassani over there. Uh, axis of evil, not only that, but a terrorist. So, uh oh. And now they're chanting death to America, death to America in the streets of Iran. And burning American flags like they always like to do, just like they like to do over there, burning American and Israeli flags over in Gaza. It's almost on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm sure the flag stores are do really good with business. Matches and flag stores. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm sure they do. It's probably the uh, number one selling uh, item and commodity there in the Gaza Strip is the Israeli flag to burn. So, it's true. Every fucking day they burn a flag. Well, anyway, Hassani said that since you labeled me the axis of evil and downright a fucking terrorist... I'm going to start my centrifuges right now. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, they're going to be enriching uranium. So, like we always know, and we always did know, that Iran's ultimate goal is to create a nuclear bomb, to put it on one of their ICBMs and send it into Israel and blow up the holy city, and that's it. That's their goal. That's what they preach. They preach death, they preach hate. Well, you know, and they're now they're right on Israel's border. They're all over in Syria now. So I'm just waiting for them fuckers to make one false move. Just one false move. And I guarantee you, dude, Netanyahu's going to come down with the hand of God on them motherfuckers, dude. Like I always say, you fuck with Israel, you fuck with the U.S., so now you got Rouhani over there fucking saying you bowing death and destruction to the U.S. Dude, you really want to fucking, you really think your ass backwards society can handle the might of the U.S., dude? We could obliterate your country in like under fucking three days. Easily. Oh, yeah. So tread lightly, Iran, dude. It, it wouldn't even take us probably three hours or four hours to take down your missile defense systems, take down your S-400s. If we really wanted to, do, we could get in there and we, we'd take you out your SAM sites, we'd take out your AAA sites, and we'd get in there and we'd bomb the shit right out of your palace, dude. Yep, that's right, Rohani. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. If you want fucking war with Trump, I'll guarantee you, he is the kind of president that will give you a fucking war, dude. Like Kim Jong-un, dude, he shit his fucking pants when he, Trump said, my bombs are bigger than yours and my button works. And I'll tell you one thing, he knew. He's like, oh shit, I better tread lightly. I got my nukes and I never will hope. I don't think the guy ever intends to use them on anybody or anything. I think he's just doing it just to keep America away from him and keep the world fearing him and... You know, so he can run his ass backwards society over there. But I'm not going to get into that. But it's crazy. Wars and rumors of wars. So anyway, if Iran is going to start enriching uranium. So that's what they vowed to do. So that's pretty much what they're going to do. They said, if you label me an axis of a terrorism, I will enrich uranium. His exact words. So... I can only see a smart bomb coming here soon. Boom! Somehow I'm feeling Israel and America are going to fucking side-by-side side attack this son of a bitch. There ain't no KY up there in fucking Iran, dude. They're going to destroy your sites. Oh, man, dude. So I'm sure that Netanyahu and Trump are on the phone today and Pompeo, they're all on the phone saying, all right. All right, we all knew these assholes got it, and now they're going to start doing it. So there's one country I do not like is Iran, dude. They are a world-renowned sponsor of terrorism. Just like how the U.S. creates terrorists in the Middle East, we're really good at that. Well, Iran's even better than us. Can you believe that? Iran creates more terrorists than we do? Yeah, they do. They do. They got us beat, but... We're the bigger, we're the bigger one on the block, so we gotta stop them so we can have our own terrorists out there.
we got to have our American terrorists, and you're the bad terrorist. So, which terrorists are good terrorists? I don't fuck. You know what I'm saying? They, they label the Revolutionary Guard terrorists, but yet here we, here Obama creates and starts ISIS. <sighs> fuck. Well, anyway, I sure am glad them special forces got out of harm's way today before they fucking got killed, so that's good. So, but I'm gonna let you guys go here, but, so, just, it's just fucking crazy the days we're living in, so, man, you got, you got shit up there about to hit the ISS now, from India, from their missile, well, I guess, I guess we're gonna see what happens here with uh, Netanyahu, hopefully, hopefully Netanyahu gets in again. Because now he's really got, and he really has it out for the motherfuckers, dude. He knows exactly where these missile sites are. He knows exactly where the SAM sites are, the AA sites, and the centrifuges, dude. He knows. And he fucking, he's got, don't, don't kid yourself. This man's got satellites, dude. Israel has satellites, and a lot of them. And they are watching every single move that this guy does, whether he's popping a zit on his ass. Trust me, Israel's looking at this motherfucker, dude. So your days are numbered. You, I dare you. I fucking dare you to start them. And you see what happens with Trump and Netanyahu. We'll see what happens. You watch. I don't need a crystal ball to fucking pull that out of my shorts and fucking tell you. You know what I'm saying? Dude gonna get crazy anyway love y'all damn man living in the last days